So for about 11 years, I didn't own a MacBook anything. I, um, I was IBM all the way. I, I had IBM computers for you know, 15, 20 years now. And I tried a Mac back in 2001, and it was just horrible. It was a, it was a 17 inch wide uh, PowerBook G4 processor. They just came out with it. G3 or G4? And, um, oh, it was just junk, you know. To me, I thought it was junk. It was made well and everything, but I couldn't even get the mouse to move as fast as I wanted it to go. So I haven't tried Mac since, uh, all, for 11 years, all the way till 2012 when I bought this um, MacBook Air. And so this post, this post, I, I wrote a blog post, but this video is about 25 reasons I love to write with my MacBook Air. And, and why I love to use it as a writer. It's really amazing. Okay, this would be 25 things I love about my MacBook uh, Air. And I wrote a post about it, so I'll be referring back to that post because I sure can't remember every single one of them. So the first thing I love is that it's super slim. It's super, super slim. It's uh, you know much thinner than any notebook I've ever had before. I have the 11.6 inch version. And look, I mean, here's my finger. It's, it's much thinner than my finger. It's, it's really amazing. And then look at the, the screen is like, not that it matters, but the screen is ultra thin. Oh, and then... This never happened before, maybe because I didn't shut it or something? Anyway, I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna reshoot that. Apparently, I had to hit the power key for some reason. If you shut it and open it real quick, I guess you have to do that. Uh, otherwise, you shut it for a long time, open it, and then you just have to enter your password, and then you can go. It has a sweet keyboard. The keyboard, the play, the travel of the keys is very uh, shallow. Yet you're you're gonna get used to it. And even though it's shallow, you know when you press the key. So that's really important for writers because. We write a hell of a lot. But now, this keyboard is, is really perfect for me. Uh, I'm used to the uh, keyboard travel, the space between the keys, um, and the layout of the keys. I, I wish there was, um, nah, I won't go into that. Keyboard backlighting. I don't know if you can see it or not. You can see it a little bit. Um, the light underneath the keyboard so you can work at night. There's 15 levels of that, and it's, there's dedicated buttons up here to, to uh, control that. But it, it's very nice to have. Got to have that. Durability. So I had this up on a shelf. It was flat, so it was very thin, right? But it's up on a shelf where my wife couldn't see it. She's a little bit short. And uh, she pushed a uh, big, big... Uh, plastic box up on that shelf and my my computer slid off the end so the computer was six feet off the ground on this shelf slid off the end so it was solid like I guess I'll shut it again that's gonna suck if I can't turn it on but uh, it fell off like this bounced hard I was on the porch you know and I was like oh my god why why did that have to happen I was sure it was destroyed like everything was broken right system board screen everything case I'm sure it was just bent to hell but no there was nothing wrong here's the mark and I'm sure you can't see that mark and you definitely can't see it because I can't focus that close but anyway there's a tiny little just on the corner and it's you wouldn't even know it's an indentation Except if you run your finger on it, it feels just a little bit different than the other part. So there's that. It's a, an eighth of an inch long. And then there's another one on this side somewhere. And I, sometimes I can't find it. It's so small. But it's absolutely unbelievable that this thing bounced onto hard tile. This is my, just same as this tile floor here. And there's concrete underneath, right? So, yeah, it bounced. It had to bounce like a basketball. 
and uh, it was absolutely fine. It was still running, you know. So anyway, um, durability it's, it works really well. Build quality. So so not only that, but if you really take a look at the build quality, like the um, the aluminum here is like machine so nice it's so flawless the whole thing is perfect it's got this rubber seal that goes around the edge it's just like how did they do that man it's like aliens made this thing and then if you look at the bottom you see where the aluminum meets it's just incredible go to the store and um check out the seams on the and, and the build quality on the machine you'd just be amazed uh, the base model is perfect. I got the, this is the 11.6 from 2012. So this one's a year old already. But uh, even so, it's got four gigs of RAM. It's got 120, I, I went up a, a notch on the uh, hard drive to 128, but now 128 uh, gigabyte on the SSD is standard. So you'll get it no matter what. Um, and then Four gigs of RAM is fine. I never have a problem with things locking up or I can't open as many things as I want or things get slow. Never, ever. So the base model, the cheapest model, is, is great. It, you don't need anything more, really. Uh, no viruses. I haven't had a virus on here for a year. I've, I've had it, well, this next month will be a year. So compared to Microsoft Windows uh, operating systems, it's, it's amazing. Extraordinary battery life. Uh, mine only gets five to six hours right now because I have last year's, but uh, the new ones that came out are getting, I think the 11.6s are getting about 10 hours, maybe even a little bit more if you're not on Wi Fi and everything. The uh, 13 inch version of the MacBook Airs are getting something like 12 to 14 hours of time. You can write for that. You don't even need to bring your uh, power adapter for the AC. Super lightweight. Uh, this is uh, 2.38 pounds. Even though you pick it up like this, it doesn't flex at all. It's very, very solid. Like it's like a solid. It's like a solid sheet of of steel. It's so strong. Lightweight power adapter. Here it is. It's very lightweight compared to all the other uh, IBM computers that I've had. Toshiba, HP, IBM. Lenovo, the rest of it. Very bright screen. Um, this screen actually on the 11.6 inch seems brighter than the Retina and the 13.3 inch. Um, I'm not sure about that. Maybe it's how I have my settings or something and maybe I could tweak it if I bought, bought the, one of the other computers. Because actually the the MacBook Pro with Retina screen, the 13 inch, they say it has a higher nit screen, which is higher brightness screen, brightness level. So maybe, I don't know, when I go to the stores and I check them out, it seems like the, the 11.6 inch is always the brightest, but who knows. Magnetic power connector. This thing is the power connector. It just it clips right in and clips right out. So if someone runs by and, and snags the cord with their foot, like your kid or your dog, um, the cord just pops out like that. It's nothing, it's not a problem. Your, your computer doesn't slide across the screen and go crashing to the floor like I've had before. Uh, open Office software works on the Mac. That's the, um, the writing program I use to write books. So you have that, it's free. Dedicated show desktop buttons. The F3 button will take you out of whatever program you're on. That's F3. And we'll show you all the other programs that are running. So you can go with your mouse and choose one. You can go to dashboard or desktop uh, and whatever other programs are running. And then push it again to go back to where you were. F4 will take you to the application launcher, which is all the applications that you have on your computer. Oops. Right there. So you can instantly pick one and, and um, start it as well. Or you just hit F4 again to go back to right where you were. So that's really, to me, that's really nice. iBook store access. Um, so you have access to the iBook store, but what's really cool is they give you a program called iBooks Author, this thing. And I started to create a little book 
Oh wait, I have to um, open up the book, I guess. Let me find the book. I started to create a book about Thailand snakes on it. I have to show you here. So here's uh, some of my my Thailand snake information about red-headed crates that I caught. But anyway, they give you this free program, and then you can create your book. It's already in a it's already pre-formatted. You just fill in, you drag pictures, and drop them on top of their their pictures. You know, to replace them, and it it makes them perfect already. It's perfectly laid out, and then you just add pages over here. You can just add pages very easily, and then. Uh, you can add more photos, you can add like characteristics of the snakes, whatever, and then talk about the snake a little bit, and then go to the next one. And uh, But anyway, this is their photo, and then you just drag on top of there. But anyway, it's absolutely amazing. Um, but you have access to that, it's free. And then you upload to the iBookstore, and you can sell your book immediately right there. That program will also create a PDF file, and you can sell that wherever you want uh, as a PDF. But the iBookstore, you can only sell that through, um, I'm sorry, but the iBook that you create with that, uh, I think it's an EPUB, you can only sell that through the Apple uh, iBookstore. Um, what else? Keyboard shortcuts. So, oh, there's so many things you can, you can do for a shortcut. Um, one of them is, while I'm looking at pictures, I can do Command-Shift-E to export the photo. Um, when I'm cropping a picture, I can do Command K for crop. Once I select, select the size of the photo and everything. It's um, there's many keyboard um, shortcuts to know. There's hundreds, and uh, I don't know them all. I know about ten or fifteen, twenty that I use, but that's about it. But still, I love to have them. Uh, the Boom app. There's an application because the speakers on this thing are not are not large, and because I guess they don't want to blow them when they when they set up the the system, they give you a real dumbed down uh, audio on it. So there's a program you can get, it's called Boom App, B-O-O-M, and you, you pay five dollars and you download it for your MacBook Air and it cranks up the volume of, of your speakers. So my problem was I couldn't hear anything on YouTube on some of the videos, it was just recorded too low, people don't know how to record. So I bought this app and now I crank it up. I can hear every single video perfectly, as, as loud as I want. And uh, so far I haven't blown the speakers, so I think that's good. Hibernate works. Um, when you close the lid, it'll, it'll shut down immediately. I mean, you can watch the, watch the top of the lid how fast it's gone already. That's how fast it, it, it shuts down in the hibernate. And then when you open it, it's supposed to... I usually don't open it so fast, but... Apparently I have to hit that power button. Oops. It's funny, only when you're doing a video will it screw up like this, right? <laughs> I'm not reshooting that either. Come on, for Christ's sake. Stupid. Okay. Hibernate works usually much better than it is. Whites are white and the blacks are black. The black on this is super black and, and it's very easy to read the text that the screen is ultra sharp. The whites are white. Intercompatibility inter uh, with the iPhone and iPad. Um, I had an iPhone 3GS for a while and then um, it's very easy to transfer files and do different things between the computer and the phone if you have if you have an iPhone or iPad. Now we have an iPad and same thing, it's it's easy interconnect to, to interconnect them. A cool palm rest. You know how the palm rest um, for computers, notebook computers will sometimes get warm, you know, as you're typing. And that's one of the worst things as a writer. I, I hate that feeling because I don't want to sweat. If I'm sweating, I'm uncomfortable, you know. I'm supposed to be relaxed and, and typing on the computer. But this one doesn't get hot unless you're playing YouTube videos, certain YouTube videos, especially full screen, um, will, will cause it to get a little bit warm, but I still wouldn't call it hot by any means. So, uh, so it's very nice to have a cool palm rest. 
built-in free instant messaging and video chat. This thing called, I think it's iMessages. Zoom in there. That little blue one down in the corner. But here's the messaging program and people that have iPhones, like my son's mother uh, back in Florida, can send you messages and then with, with pictures or whatever, but they send it directly to your computer from their phone. I don't know how it works because I'm not back in the US, but uh, really amazing. And then you can also have um, video chat. There's FaceTime. I didn't mention that in the, in the list here. Oh yeah, I did video chat. Yeah, FaceTime is pretty cool. It's just like Skype. Built-in apps. Uh, nearly everything I need is already on the computer when, when you get it. Um, the only extras I installed were OpenOffice, like I mentioned, Skype, an FTP program, that free iBooks author thing I showed you, uh, Amazon's Kindle for Mac software, so you can put Kindle on there, and the Boom app for increasing the, uh, the volume. That's, that's all I put on there. It already has iPhoto, which is good for, um, for graphics and changing your photos, getting your photos online. Um, iMovie, which does it for videos, um, there's little note programs, man, there's every app that you really need, almost, is here, I mean, it's, you got phone programs, you got antivirus, here I have Kindle, oh, I installed some uh, browsers, like Chrome, Chrome works for, for Mac OS, and whatever. <coughs> It has just about everything you could possibly need. Uh, the trackpad is amazing. It's, it's worth buying this computer just for the trackpad. And the trackpad, of course, is how you move your mouse around, right? And um, the trackpad is, it, it's, they call it glass. I don't know if it's glass or not. It doesn't look like it. But uh, it's absolutely perfect. I couldn't imagine it could be any better than it possible than it than it is. It's um, it never mistakes my finger. I I never feel like oh it's doing something I don't want it to do. Never. It's it's absolutely perfect. And then there's so many different um, gestures. There's 15 different gestures you can do. Things like with four fingers you can go up and then bam you have your um it's the same as the F3 button. It'll show you all of the open applications and then come back down with four fingers and it'll go back to, to normal. Um, what else is there? <clears throat> I don't know these all that well. Uh, of course, one finger you can move your cursor. Two fingers you can right click and bring up options. So just a two finger tap is a right click. Um, three fingers, like if, you, if your cursor is right over a word and you do three finger tap, It'll select the word and then it'll bring it up in a dictionary so you can see what it is immediately. Um, or you can look at it online with a two finger tap and then choose uh, look up online. Um, three finger scroll, wait, wait, four finger scroll will take you between the applications. So you can slide the whole application out of the way that you were, you were just using and go to your other, this is like a little special app area where I have my calculator and stuff. But, uh, if you have other apps open at the same time, like here I'll open, open Office real quick. If I can find one, yeah, this one. <coughs> so open, uh, open some other apps, maximize them with the little up arrow there. And then this one is open full screen. I can slide over to the desktop and uh, so I can slide between applications real easy. If it's my browser, there's my browser, there's my open office. You can slide back and forth in case you have to look things up on the internet or something. It's very nice whenever you're writing. Uh, there are some, there's something like three finger from the right side to, is it two finger? Yeah, it's two finger. And this will show your messages on the right side. So these are my Skype messages that show up whenever I, I just use a two finger and I, I start at the plastic over here and then go over to the trackpad sliding over. So that's kind of cool. You have, what else? 
Oops. Uh, of course you have the pinch to zoom and all that. Um, I don't know. There are many there are many things I don't even know. Three finger oh three fingers will let you select text. So you, it's kind of like a click, hold down left mouse button and then select text, which you can also do like this with two fingers. Or you can just put your cursor wherever you want it and three finger select just like this. Easy. It's really nice. Um what else? Three finger? Hmm. Jeez. So there are other mouse gestures, so I can move my mouse to the lower left side, and bam, I have desktop. And then I move it back, and I get my program back. I can move it to lower right side, and I can get the applications that I have open again, and move it back. Those are little things you can set up on the trackpad. Anyway, um, so that's what I like about my MacBook Air for writing. Um, if you're a writer, I strongly suggest you get a MacBook Air or even a MacBook Pro um, Retina screen or something, but the MacBook Air is just so lightweight and uh, I throw it in my bag even when even when I don't think I'm going to have some time, you know, to, to be able to, to write something. I throw it in my bag anyway because it's almost like a non-issue. A non I don't even feel it in my bag. It's so lightweight. So if you carry a backpack, you won't even feel the thing. It's This one's 2.2 pounds or something. And uh, yeah, so, and definitely now that they increase the battery life to 12 to 14 hours of use, you don't even have to drag around your AC adapter anymore. You know, you can go a whole day of work. Not too many people, not too many writers write more than 12, 14 hours a day. And uh, you don't even need to carry your AC adapter anymore. So I hope that helps everybody. All right, cheers.